Hello everybody, my name is Justin here from Subvoid Media, and I have a tutorial slash how-to that will hopefully relieve the headache of a few of you Arma 3 players out there who are experiencing random crashes. The crashing and error that we'll be looking at today and hopefully trying to solve is the access violation error that occurs seemingly at random. Now, the potential causes for this crash and error can be anything from your system not having enough RAM or a sufficient amount of RAM. It could be that, you know, your profiles folder is read only. It could be that, you know, you got conflicting mods. It can be anything like that. But what I've found to be the most common cause is either conflicting mods or your profiles folder being read only. So those are the two I'm going to focus on for this tutorial. I will show you troubleshooting methods closer to the end of the video. But for now, we're just going to show you the two solutions that seem to work the best for people out there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Steam program. Find Arma 3. It's right there, already selected, nice and pretty. You're going to want to right-click, go to Properties. And in your main Properties tab, General, you're going to see Set Launch Options. Open that up, and you're going to notice that it's blank. Now what I like to do is I like to open up File Browser and manually uh, go to my Arma 3 directory because it's not, you know, C drive, program files, A6, Steam, Steam apps, common Arma 3. Mine's a little different. But go to your Arma 3 directory and click outside of the box right in this area and it'll turn it to plain text. Go ahead and copy that. Now you're done with file browser, you don't need that anymore. I just do that to get my Arma 3 directory. If you know yours off, top, off the top of your head and you memorized it and you know how to type it perfectly, you can do that. But essentially, type your Arma 3 directory right here or copy and paste it. Now you're not done yet. Don't go ahead and, you know, hit your OK. Press space hyphen, then type profiles equals profiles just like I did right there I'll have that down in the description just in case you know I typed it too fast or something you just want to copy and paste it we'll go ahead and hit OK now what that does is that changes the folder that Arma 3 saves and updates your profiles to it actually creates a new folder that is by default not read-only so it's not gonna try to save your profile to a read-only folder get access denied and crash so with that being said, you're done. Now another solution, which was recommended by the Bohemia Interactive customer service to some of the members of the forums I've been reading, follows the same steps, but the, the thing you type in the set launch options is a little different. So let's say you opened up your Steam program. You're going to right click Arma 3, Properties, Set Launch Options, and do the same thing I did where I copied and pasted my Arma 3 directory just like so. You'll be right here. Except this time instead of typing the profiles thing, you're going to hit space hyphen M A L L O C equals system. Just like that. I will also have that down in the description if you would rather copy and paste it. Now I don't know exactly how that, you know, parameter um, affects the behavior of Arma 3. But a lot of people have said that it fixed the issue for them, and it was recommended by Bohemia Interactive, so, you know, obviously, it's got some merit behind it. So let's say that neither one of those things work, and you're still experiencing the issue, and you want to get it solved. Well, one thing I would recommend to do to troubleshoot and potentially fix your problem is to isolate any conflicting mods. So what I like to do is I like to open up Arma 3, and it opens up your main actual launcher here, like this. And I like to go to the mod section here, and I will disable any mod that I have enabled and installed since the last time that Arma 3 worked properly. So let's say I downloaded three mods since then. I would disable those three mods by hitting these checkboxes. And you know, if it's got a lot of dependencies, or if it's a dependency for a lot of mods, it will do that. But just uncheck the boxes and run Arma 3. And if Arma 3 runs properly, you can go through and start re-enabling those mods one by one until you isolate whichever one 
is causing the issue. So hopefully that helps you out there and you're able to isolate the mod, try to get it fixed, or just not play with it at all and enjoy playing Arma 3 the way it's meant to be played. Now if that doesn't work and you disable all your recent mods since the last time the game worked properly and it's still crashing, what a couple of people found can actually solve the issue is by changing the platform that the game runs at from 64-bit to 32-bit. And doing that's pretty simple. You're just going to want to go to Parameters in the Launcher, and mine is already here up at Favorites under Platform, but if yours isn't in Favorites, I'll show you where it's at. You go to All Parameters, and under Basic, it's the very first one. Just hit that drop-down box, change it to 32-bit, run the game, and see if it works. Now those four things that I went over are the four things that have seemed to fix the issue for a majority of the people. Anything else that could be causing this issue, like if changing it to 32-bit doesn't fix it, if doing the parameters doesn't fix it, like the profiles profiles or the M-A-L-L-O-C thing doesn't fix it, and it's not mods, then there's a chance that it's your actual physical system, your hardware. I would look up the Arma 3 um, you know, system requirements and make sure that your system is at least a decent bit above those. You don't want to be just scraping by because that can cause a lot of issues. And you know, if you look up system requirements and you found that you know maybe you need more RAM or something, I would recommend upgrading your RAM and seeing if the game works fine then. Those things that I just listed off were the most common solutions that fixed it for a majority of people. I'm not saying it's going to fix it for everyone, but I'm hoping that at least one thing that I showed you in this video fixes your Arma 3 and allows you to play it the way it's meant to be played. So, if the video helped you guys out, don't forget to leave a uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.